the memorandum or memo usually sent by a boss or with a higher duty to lower co-workers. The format of a memo follow the general guidelines of business writing. A memo is usually a page or two long single spaces or end left justified. Instead of using indentation to show new paragraph, skip a line between sentences, business material should be concise to easy and read. Purpose of memorandum to remind employees of previously current or new work issues or rules make announcement or draft policies that the everyone needs to know and gives a warning to a particular sector or department or to an individual employee if they have a made a mistake or error in the work constitute of memorandum a memo usually consists of the head and the body. In the head is found the exact date when the memo was written and posted and its subject or what it is, ab it is about. On the body is located the beginning and the summary to identify the recipient of the memo should always put his full name. Mm, should not use only a nickname. Always consider the audience or readers of the memo. It is important to adapt its tone, length, and level of formality to the intended readers. To entice people to read it. To do this, it need to be clear to the sender for whom the memo is being sent. To write the introduction and memorandum. Introduce the problem or issue in the introductory part. Give the person concert a brief context behind the action you want them to take. This is the thesis statement um, of the memo which contains the topic and explain why it, it, it is important. Just enter the information needed and should take long to be persuasive about the problem for being explained in order to believe in, convince the reader. Usually, the length of the introduction is one-fourth of the total length of the memorandum. To summary in memorandum, is that the main action the sender what wants to take the reader is that it contains some evidence in support of the recommendation given by the sender. In a very short memo, it is no longer necessary of the summary to include this is the discussion that is the middle of it. In reviewing the audience of a memo, the following statement should be always considered that think about what the priorities and values of the readers are, think about why or how the memo will be important to them. And the next is prepare possible question of readers. Carefully, carefully review the content of the memo and prepare example, evidence, evidence, sorry, or any information that will help persuade them. Be sensitive to any information and sentiment that is not appropriate for for the reader. Always remember that the memorandum is formal, so it is necessary to use polite language. Mm, avoid using the pronouns like I or you. Use more formal and polite pronouns like you, they, or we. The sender of the memo may use the pronoun me, especially if it, if it, if it refers to his or her office or wants to take action from the recipient. The tone of a memo in, is impersonal so it should not be marked with personal feelings or opinion. So that's all of my report in this topic. Thank you. The memorandum is composed of two parts, the heading and the message. Heading. It starts with the date. Date, li date lines indicates when the memo was written. Use the full, use full date and do not use abbreviation or other short term. Next, to and from. To and from lanes 
identify the intended reader and the writer. As the general rule, use full name and make sure to spell this correctly. Next, subject. Subject line identifies the memo's topic in a tightly worded phrase. Use precise terms that will that will readers will understand. On the second part of the memo, delivers the message and keep it focused on the subject. Don't mix two or three topics into one memo unless the memo is short. It follows three uh, part structure which is the opening, middle, and closing. Opening. Build on the subject line and usually states the main point of the subject. Second, the middle. Add supporting details and discuss the subject. The closing. Focus on the uh, outcomes and action. To write such as a successful memo, you should be you should follow the four basic steps. Guys, uh, please go watch yung mga pinapanood natin no? uh, mga report ninyo kasi gagawa na tayo ng report writing. So, we based na ako dito sa libro na sabat, hindi nyo makita. Sa libro na pinili ko guys. Ito kasi ito, dati kasi hindi ko naman alam itong report writing natin. Kaya bumili talaga ako ng libro totally. Tapos ay... Wait lang. Halos lahat ng report nyo guys, yung mga pinagsasabi nyo dyan, nandito lang din yan sa ano natin, sa uh, gagawin natin, sa gagawin natin report writing. Sa police, uh, police blotter, spot report, yung 7. Tama ba 7? 7 different type of writing. Tama ba guys? Oh, nabago na. Hello, may kausap pa ako? Sir, kasama po ba dun yung police blotter? Yes, it's uh, sama natin, pero i ano siya, iwalay siya guys, no? Hindi siya oh, kasama okay, totally. Pero so, sa, 7 lang po, sir. Um, 7 lang. Pag sinama natin, 8 yun. Pero yung formal kasi natin, guys, yung mga spot, right, uh, spot report, no? Kaya yung nag-bib term kayo, di ba? Hindi siya kasama sa puntos. Kasi ang pagbabasayan po natin sa report na writing natin is yung 7. Dito kasi ako nag-base sa akin, di bro? 7 na yun, no? Ano ba yung mga 7 na yun? Lumutan ko na Ito may hirap yung report writing natin guys. So, uh, Magano na tayo dun. Ma After the report has been done, we proceed to report writing. Now, number one, spot. Number two, initial. Number three, progress. Number four, final. Incident, vehicular, and after operation report. Uh, guys, no, kapag gumagawa ko ng uh, report guys, since uh, Hindi naman tayo ganun ka-conscious regarding that matter kung kahit okay lang sa akin basta yung maintindihan yung report nyo. Huwag naman sana yung ano yung patay-tay na report nyo guys. Gusto ko yung kahit pa paano din ko. Like I said, I'm not good enough for this ano kasi dapat hindi teaching talaga. Teacher ng tuturo na ito. Pero from the purpose of our study and very flexibility tayo dito regarding that uh, subject matter. We need to initiate no. Pagdating naman sa servisyo guys no. In sa inter namin, hindi naman talaga totally hinahanap yung ano, yung pagkakaroon ng total format. Pero yung format, kailangan natin sundin. Ngayon, bigo sabihin, yung grammar itself, hindi naman ganun ka ano yan. Pero basta yung naiintindihan ng ano nyo, kasi magkakaroon kasi ng paraphrasing yan. Pag sinabi natin paraphrasing, kung nakagawa kayo ng report, yung pagpapasaan nyo po guys, meron yung division na kung saan, i-re-rephrase nila yung mga, mga English taking natin. Kung baga, Kayo gagawa kayo ng report, parang eh, pagdating sa thesis guys, meron tayong tinatawag na ano yun? Ano yun? Yung critical analysis, no? Yung magkakaroon pa ng ano yan, English critic pala. English critic, naku sa adiba, baguhin pa yung report, no? Ganon din yan. Hindi sa seven common types of the ano, yung nakita nyo dyan guys, no? Nandun yan sa notes nyo. Eh, ito, pinicturean ko lang, hindi naman ito in-scan ko. Yung parang Spider-Man, nandun. Doon tayo magpapokus sa reporting natin. After the group 1, 2, and 3. has been done their report no? si lahat naman yun lahat ang binigay ko sa inyong report ay included yun ito nga sa memorandum format to nilagay na nila dito sa group 2 diba? dyan natin makikita kung ano ba yung pinagkaiba niya if you, uh, if you have any question 
you can watch my YT or you can get uh, notes in my Google Classroom. No? Depends on you how to do it and how to analyze. So, sobrang dami kasi guys ng ano. Sa totoo lang regarding this matter, marami talaga dito sa ano, chapter 1 to 3. Ah, uh, ay sa technical writing report. No? Sa technical writing report too guys, more in ano talaga siya, more in ano ba to, yung execution of the writing report. No? Baka, baka, baka yung kimam Elena na mabunta yun. Technically, sana huwag naman sa akin ulit kasi ayoko na nito. Honestly speaking, mahirap siya. Pero, kain-kain yun. Basta yung report writing, maintindihan ko. At yung the way that you... Ipapasa ko po yung sample ng, ano, ng report writing. Spot, uh, ano ba yun? Hindi ko pa yata. Wala yata sa notes yun. Spot, tapos, yung seven. Check natin sa notes nyo guys, no, kung nandito ba yun. Kasi ayun, no, wala sa notes nyo yata. Yung mga sample ng pwede nyo pagbasihan pag gumawa na tayo ng report writing. Kailangan may pagbabasihan tayo mga kaibigan. Tayo magbabase sa kung ano nila. Ayoko yung hahanap pa sa internet. Gusto ko may pagbasihan na kayo mismo dito sa ating 3-1 kaya, tama? 3-1? Ano ba yung notes ito? Iba pa yung powerpoint natin guys. Iba yung notes, iba yung powerpoint present. Power PPT. Itong, PP, uh, itong notes na to guys, galing pa to sa mga senior niyong culture na ngayon. Nagawa ko sa kanila yun. Project nila sa akin. Yung libro, pinaano ko sa kanila. O, nandito pala guys. Yan. So, punta na na dito. Mm -hmm. Hindi na naman guys. So, dito kayo magbabase kung paano gumawa ng ano guys. Ang tinatawag natin ito yun. Yan. Sample police blotter yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ito. Sample pala siya guys. No? Ito yung appendix B. Dito po tayo gagawa ng tinatawag natin mga report. And this is the format that we can use. The police blotter report. Ito yung mga format niya guys. Better head niya. This is the initial investigation report of the rape with the homicide. Yeah, guys, you can get an information regarding this matter sa mga tapos na cases. No? Pwede kayong kumuha sa internet guys. No? Pero may picture na yung mga pinagagawa nyo ay eh, akma doon sa ating ano, memorandum. Okay, ito. Dinidiscuss ni group to yung memorandum na sinasabi ko. Okay, this also is the progress report. Guys, ito dapat gantong ganto yung pagkagawa natin ng ano, na report writing. And also in investigation report. Mm -hmm. Yan, vehicular traffic incident. After mission report. And, uh, after battery report, no? Hindi, hindi na kaya abot yan. Siguro yung pito na lang yung kung saan tayo, kung saan nyo diniscuss. Kaya-kaya nyo, malupit naman ko rin. After the discussion, group 1, 2, and 3, doon natin siya is execute, guys. Doon lang tayo sa madaling maintindihan. Huwag nyo nang pahirapan yung sarili nyo. Huwag nyo masyado lalimit. Baka lalimit nyo yung mga English nyo. Hindi ko rin maintindihan. No? So, sobrang ginis ko. Perfectin ko na lang mga score nyo. Kahit hindi ko na nabasa. No? Huwag nyo masyado laliman guys. No? Hindi ko naman kailangan na mga. Gusto ko lang yung madaling maintindihan. Okay. Hindi proceed ko. Which is the pre-write, drop, revise, and refine. It starts with a pre-write. Purpose. What is the what is your memo's purpose? What is the what Always remember guys, no kapag nagpagawa ako ng report sa inyo, follow the format. Not following the format uh, na binigay ko sa inyo mga notes will be considered a deduction of points, no. Napaka-importante po sa akin na ipa-follow niyo yung format sa paggawa ng report. What 
do you want to achieve? And what ano uh, what is the reason? Yan, uh, the other permission. Dahil pagdating po sa final, baka yan po ang ipagawa ko sa inyo, yung mga report writing natin. No? Uh, you have only, siguro, taasan ko ng konti yung ano, yung... Yung oras kasi medyo mahirap kumuha ng report. Dapat tama yung pagkawa ng report. Yes. Yan yung pwede kong i-consider at final examination. Can you make a memo? Next, audience. Who is your audience? Who should oh no, who should receive your memo? And uh, next is detail. What detail does your memo need? Look uh, look for the look for the details that supports your memo. Drop for the drop of your memo, uh, develop your sentence and paragraphs. Drop is composed of three, which is the opening, middle, and closing. Let's start with Let's opening. Go. Opening. First, expand on your subject by stating all uh, main points and adding some helpful backgrounds. Next, middle. Offer in order all the key details that your reader needs. Next, uh, closing. Last, focus on the results and action. Next is uh, revise. Uh, always check the content of the memo. Uh, check the organization if the organization is correct. And also, don't forget to check the tone if the spacing is correct. Lastly is refine. To refine your uh, memo, double check the uh, word choice, sentence smoothness, um, correctness, and overall design. Police blatter. Police blatter is a daily written record of facts or incidents that are reported in the police station also known as logbook that contains the daily registry of all crimes incident report official summaries of arrests and other significant events reported in the police station what is the police blatter in the philippines this is a recording an event criminal event criminal happening in the logbook of the police this is a self-serving narrative as a state by the reporter that went to the police station and narrative the alleged crime. Now, I want to address this and explain the whole thing in the layman's way. How is the procedure of the police blattering? This is the same thing if you go in NBI, Criminal Investigation Detective Group, which is CIDG, and also the Cybercrime Office. The PNP or the police, you go there in the police station, and you go to the recording officer and write your allegation, the alleged propitation, and they will record, record it. The authorities have the materials duty to accommodate a person reporting a crime. They will put in their logbook with a date and the time of the alleged crime and let you sign the logbook itself and you can even have a certification of your allegation and a sealed and signed certification from the police station. What is the usage of a police blatter? The usage of a police blatter is only recording of alleged crime as a narrative by the reporting person. There are types of police blatter. First one is a police blatter, the standard one. Second is e-blatter, the electronic blatter system. Third is pink blatter. This is for cases involve women and children. After the discussion of the police blatter definitions, let us now discuss the contents of a police blatter. First is the person who were involved with it, and these are the victims, suspects, witnesses, and whosoever may be listed as present during the incident. Second, 
the time of the occurrence of the crime, when was the incident happened. Number three, the place of the incident or the place of the occurrence of the crime. Fourth, the indication of crime committed, which will be subjected to through the an investigation. Fifth, the reason or why the suspect committed such crime. We must know the motives of the suspect, why he or she committed it. Lastly, the description of the chronological event containing the order of timely sequence of the incident that happened from the very beginning up and up to the end of the circumstances that may lead the incident. In addition, police blotter also contains an affix of signatures, blotter, entry number, and lastly, page number. Therefore, the police blotter serves as a permanent record of reported events and occurrences, providing the necessary information about what is going on inside a certain police jurisdiction. So let's talk about spot report. So what is spot report and what is the purpose of spot report? So spot report is also called spot report. It refers to an immediate initial investigative or incident report addressed to higher headquarters pertaining to the commission of the crime, occurrence of natural or man-made disaster or unusual incidents involving loss of lives and damage of properties. Spot report is a concise narrative report of essential information, which is the essential, importante, covering events or condition that may have an immediate and significant effect on current planning and operation that is afforded the most expeditious means of transition, transmission consistent with requisite security. So for example, ako yung police officer, sa lugar namin may nangyaring kremen. So ako yung, as a police officer, ako yung gagawa ng spot report mismo dun sa lugar kung ano nangyari, sino yung sangkot sa nangyari, bakit nangyari, yung mismong elements of report, which is the 5 W's and 1 H. So first, gagawa ako ng report kung sino, sino yung sangkot, bakit nangyari, bak paano nangyari, mga ganong impormasyon. So, what is the purpose of spot report? So, the purpose of spot report is to use to send information to provide timely intelligence or status regarding events that could have an immediate and significant effect on current planning and operation. So, nag, so ang purpose po ng spot report is magpagbibigay information. Magbibigay information tungkol sa nangyaring aksidente or crime ipapasa ko mismo dun sa agency ko or company or headquarters within 24 hours. Natapos nang ipaliwanag ni Habagat kung anong ibig sabihin ng spot report. So, ang sunod na i-discuss ko naman is who can make spot report. So, usually ang gumagawa ng spot report is yung mga security personnel. Halimbawa ng mga security personnel is yung mga police officers and security guards. Sila ang madalas ginagamagawa ng spot report kasi sila ang madala, um, sila ang madalas na malapit sa prone ng crime at incidents. At ang sunod is where you can make spot report. By making spot report, it started in the area of responsibilities of a security personnel. Katulad nga ng sinabi ko, once na isa ka sa security personnel na malapit sa pinangyarihan ng krimen or insidente, ikaw ka agad ang gagawa ng spot report. When you can make spot report? Once a security personnel witness sa crime or an incident, he can immediately make a spot report to have a basis for an immediate support. And it is normally submitted within 24 hours of the occurrence crime incident. Mahalaga na may pasa ka agad sa nakakataas sa, sa, sa iyo bilang security personnel ang spot report sa loob ng 24 oras para mabigyan ka agad ng immediate support at mabigyan ng tulong sa pinangyarihan ng krimen or incidente. Why you make spot report? 
It is used to send information to provide timely intelligence or status regarding events that could have an immediate and significant effect or current planning and operation. Para mabigyan ng information yung mga nakakataas sa'yo, para mabigyan ka agad ng immediate, ng immediate response at mabigyan ng tulong sa pinangyarihan ng krimen or insidente. So, ang next is how to make spot report. So, may kita ni dito is yung example ng spot report. Sa, by making spot report, it is a concise narrative report of essential information na uh, nagko-cover ng events or condition that may have an immediate and significant effect on current planning and operation that is afforded the most expeditious means of transmission consistent with risk-quit security. Thank you. Incident report. An incident report is a written account of an event or occurrence. The purpose of this report is to document the exact details of the occurrence as a basis for further actions and concerned public safety officers. In incident report are the jump off points of investigation designed to ferret out the facts and recommend solution. How those it differ from the SPAT report, as mentioned earlier, SPAT report which are generally report on an incident are submitted within 24 hours of the occurrence being reported. Hence, an incident report is one that is submitted beyond the time frame applicable for a spot report. However, just like the spot report, it becomes the basis for further inquiry or investigation by authorities. Type of incident report. Workplace incident report is a form that is used to profile physical occurrence that impact on employees' productivity in the workplace. It includes workplace injuries, near misses, and accidents that have a negative impact on the employees and the organization in general. Accident report is, is also referred to as an accident investigation report because it highlights all the probable positive factors that are responsible for the accident. Safety security incident report that is used to keep track of the theft, losses, and any other type of security event that take place within its specific premises. This report is important because it helps an organization to keep track of security breaches and safety measures. When we conducted an incident report following the fire events, first is when kailan nangyari yung isang incident. Like for example, si isang workplace nagkaroon ng isang incident which is nagkaroon ng harassment between manager and employee. Evening on November 20, 1985 at Macmac Restaurant. Second were, saan? Saan nangyari yung isang insidente? Which is, dun sa number one example, malalaman natin na sa Macmac Restaurant. Third is who? Sino naman yung mga taong involved? A manager and employee. Fourth, why? Bakit nangyari yung isang insidente? Kunyari, nag yung manager may gusto kasi doon sa girl then ito naman si girl is ayaw that's, that's why nangyari yung harassment between manager and employee para yung manager ina-expect na niya yung babae is mapapa sa kanya fourth is paano nangyari yung isang paano or how nangyari yung isang insidente kasi sila lang dalawa doon sa restaurant Always remember that 5W is so very important when we conducted an incident report to gain the information from the location of the incident and make it clear every information.
Incident report may include first surrounding the incident to locate the proper or the exact location of the incident happened to avoid the mislanding of the investigation also to trace all the evidence in the area second date time and location of the incident ah syempre kinakailangan din po nating alamin ang pecha oras at location ng isang incident kasi very important po ito when we conduct a uh, report investigation third is details on witness and victims kailangan din po natin alamin ang buong detalye ng witness and victim para kapag gumawa po tayo ng incident report ay malinaw ang buong detalye nito that's all thank you initial investigation report an initial investigation report is an offshoot of a spot or incident report that requires resolution, be it in the form of a formal complaint or a crime committed or recommendations for further action. In, investigation, in initial investigation report, in preparing the reports, we will use the essential of preparing our reports, which are the five W's and one H. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. This report follows a sequence starting with the authority, basis for investigation such as written or verbal order. The details or narrative of the incident with initial findings based on witnesses, statements, and appropriate recommendations. Um, in creating or writing a report, we need to follow a sequence that starts with the authority. In the authority, you put there an authority as investigator. Next is the matters that you are being, uh, you need to be investigated, which is the incident that you are being investigated. Next are the facts of the case. This is the entire happenings or the entire incident transpired in the area that you are investigated. Next are the discussion. You discuss there the matter who is being liable or how much money involved, how many property damage, and how many things that is being stolen. Conclusion. In the conclusion, you conclude who is the liable, who is the liable person, and what is the penalty of the liable person. And the last step is the recommendation. Um, next is progress report. A progress report is a follow-up of the spot report or the initial investigation report. It accounts the actions or series of action undertaken by the investigator relative to ongoing investigation of a case. It covers new findings and statements of additional witnesses, if any. A progress report is a report in which you are updating in your information about a project. These type of reports are used for projects that have many steps from onset to completion and are issued at regular intervals. Um, good day sir and good day classmate. Um, this is my final report or this is my report. Okay. Um, the final report is a true comprehensive and deep account of an investigation to determine the truth of the incident with recommendation for proper um, courses of action. So, okay. Sa so, number one is, uh, ito yung huling ulat uh, kung saan masisinan at komprehensibo at malalim na sa laysay ng isang pagsisiyasat upang matukoy ang katotohanan ng isang insidente na may mga rekomendasyon para sa tamong mga hakbang na action. Kung baga guys, um, dito magbabase ang PNP kung Ano yun dapat na action ang dapat nilang gawin? Na kung saan doon magagaling yung ano, kung bagay, kung bagay doon magagaling yung response ng PNP, kung ano yun dapat i, um, uh, ibigay nilang tulong sa ano, kung bagay sa taong um, naging biktima para magawa ng action talaga. So, the number two is the this refers to the last or concluding report on particular incident. 
or case where all important angles and details considered in the initial investigation and progress reports are taken into account. So, sa number two guys is, ito yung tumutukoy sa uli or pramakas na ulit sa isang particular na incidente o kaso kung saan ang lahat ng mga halagang gulo at detalye na isinasalang-alang sa paunang um, investigation at sa mga ulat ng pagulat ay maisalang-alang din. So, uh, number three is um, the final report is based on supporting document providing in the courses of the investigation and understanding of the relevant facts on information collected during the courses of investigation. So, sa number three guys is um, ito yung um, ulat uh, batay sa sumusuportan dokumento or binibigay sa, sa kurso ng pagsisiyasat uh, sa pag-unawa sa mga nawag na katotohanan at sa mga impormasyon na kolekta sa parang ng pagsiyasat. Kumbaga guys, um, um, kumbaga parang dito magbabasa um, dito ag pagbabasehan yung mga evidensya tulad ng witness um, kung meron mang mga CCTV or may mga nakakita sa incident so dun magbabase ang PNP so ayun guys thank you Open ka. Open ka mo na ito. May clear lang pero malaman. Mm-hmm. Guys, yung pagbabasehan natin yung sa ginawa ng group 2. No? Yan yung report na pagbabasehan natin. Joan, lahat ba nagsalita dun? Makikita ko yun, ha? Yes, pa. No, lahat na ipag-participate. Sige, check natin. Nakarecord naman lahat yan, guys. So, makikita ko kung sino-sino yan. No? Jabagat, dito ba yan? Pastanyeres? Kasi present kapag yes. ano? Pastanyeres. Present, sir. Apod? Christian James, Danica, Jenna, Jen Ryan Mango, J-Boy, Recto, Agrabate, Serego, Bago, Indivision, Pagmula, Cecilia. At uh, Marimon, magpapayad ka. Mga pumutok na yung ano mo. Yung uniform mo dyan. Hanapit ng F to F class yung mapapayat na kayo guys. Nahihirapan ka rin sa ano. Ito din. May reception pa kayo guys no. Pag fourth year nyo may reception na naman yan no. Hindi lang first year. Hindi fourth year. Hintay ko nga yung fourth year na mag reception na ulit eh. Kasi magusod sila ng bagong nilang uniform eh. May bagong uniform ba tayo? Ano? Recto? Ay, kapate. Meron ba kayong bagong design? Sir, sa fourth year po? Hindi, sa lahat. Ah, sa lahat, sir? Meron po, sir, pero yung polo shirt lang siya, sir. Hmm, sige, sige. Tingnan ko kayo Para sir. po sa first year tsaka second year. Meron na? Sa first year din? Apo, sir. Yun po yung magiging uniform nila, yung polo shirt po. Sige, sige. Nabangan ko yun sa amin eh. Meron daw may propose measure si Sir Mervyn. By the way, matcha-check ka naman yun. Wait lang ah. Guys, yung report ng group 2, dun tayo group 2. Not only group 2, but 1 and 2, 3. After with the reporting has been done, uh, magpo-post tayo sa reporting natin guys kung paano gumawa ng report na. That will be included, lagi ko sinabi sa inyo guys, that will be included in the final examination. Kaya nilalagay natin. Kasi mahirap gumawa ng report. So, baka abahan ko yung final examination natin. No? Para lahat kayo bumasa. No? Para hindi naman kayo mag iyak yun. No? Pero binagsak mo na naman ako. Ponyeta ka. Mapapaisip na naman kayo ng mga ganun. No? Wait lang. Wait lang. Sige. Okay. One, two, tingin sa camera guys. One, two, three. Okay. Hanggang sa muling pagkikita mga kaibigan sa ating mga subject matter. Bye-bye. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Wait lang.